screwdriver or whatever the heck that is. I think we should use whatever that is. It looks like a fishing pole or something. Uh oh, he fell off the train. I think I killed him. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Yami and welcome back to another video. So on the channel before, I've played a game called Save the Girl, but today we are saving the bro. That's right, we're swapping genders and we're out here saving the men. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoy my content as it really helps me out. And now let's get into it. Okay, he's literally in prison. Do I really wanna save him? Apparently that's what I'm doing. So he said, what should I do? Should we use a trumpet or should we look at the poster? I feel like we should look at the poster. There's definitely gonna be some kind of hidden tunnel behind it. So let's do that. Was I right? Oh, it had a key. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a hidden tunnel, but it was the right answer. And that's all that matters. What now? Where are you going? Okay. So that is a big prisoner. Should we press the red button or use a fidget spinner? What in the world is a fidget spinner gonna do? It's probably better than letting him out though. He looks scary. So let's use the fidget spinner. Okay, he passed it over and he kept him entertained. Right, wasn't expecting that, but apparently it was the right thing to do. Oh no, there's a police officer. Is he gonna get caught? Watch out. Also, can we talk about how bro's feet are messed up? Why does he only have three toes on each foot? Maybe it's better if we don't know the answer to that. Okay, so we have a bat or we have a slingshot. I'm gonna use the slingshot just because I think it's the most interesting thing. Oh, that was clever. He took out the light bulb with it. Ah, and that way the cop didn't spot him. I just didn't want to go down the violence route, you know, with the bat. That could have ended terribly. He made it by the cop. And now we're in a kitchen. Oh no, a big pot. What are we gonna do? Wear a hazmat suit or put it out with a fire extinguisher. I think maybe the hazmat suit, just because I wanna see what he looks like wearing that. So let's press it. Okay, what's he gonna do? Oh, he was protected because obviously it was going to explode. Oh my gosh, what is a pretty lady doing in this prison? Do we give her some roses or do we give her a rat? I think every pretty lady deserves a rat. So yeah, let's give her one. There you go, honey. Oh, she didn't like that, did she? <laughs> but I did, I thought that was funny. I do kind of feel bad for that woman though. She's probably terrified of rats. There's a lock. Do we have a glass of water? or we can press the brain. I don't know what the brain does. So I'm gonna press it. Oh, is he gonna turn into a hacker? No, because he's stupid. Now we know we have to use a cup of water. What I really like about these games is that they're just actually insane. Right, so he's not hacked it. He's actually just broken it and it opened the door. And he's escaped outside. Oh no, there's a big old dog and he looks mad. So shall we use the cat or use the ham? I think we should use the cat. Maybe he will run away. Yes, I think it worked. Yes, I knew that the dog was gonna chase that cat. I can't believe I'm helping this man escape prison. I don't even know why he's in prison. Oh, well, he is terrifying. What in the world is that? A rooster or an anchor? I have no idea what any of these items could do. So I'm gonna go with the rooster looking thing. What is that? No, that was the wrong choice. And I don't even know what it is. Well, now we know never to give a big burly prisoner a rooster on a stick. Let's give him an anchor instead. Oh, I see, we showed off our tattoo to him and he was like, you know what, you have a tattoo? Cool, so do I, you can go. Oh no, be quiet. Look, there's some police. We have the option of a joker mask or I don't know what that is. Is that like a mask or a pillow? I'm unsure, but I'm gonna go with the joker mask just because I'm curious about it. All right, it's a great disguise. Uh-oh. Maybe that wasn't such a good disguise because it was actually the wrong option. I kind of did have a feeling that was gonna be the wrong option though, because I mean, the Joker is not a good guy and the police actually hate him. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Now we know it wasn't the right option. Let's go with the other thing. I'm so curious, what is that? Oh my goodness, he's dressed up as a ghost. What? Did they seriously get scared of that? They both work in a prison that's definitely haunted. Or maybe that's why they were scared. I wonder if he ever actually gets to escape prison. Okay, a towel or is that a hockey stick? Let's use the hockey stick. 
Oh, is he gonna smash up the CCTV? Oh no, he made it spin around and then it pointed right at him. Yeah, probably not the best thing to do. Let's use the towel, cover it up. Perfect. But where did he even get that from? He literally just pulled it out of his pocket and he doesn't even have pockets. How is it gonna get over this wall with the barbed wire? Is he going to use a bongo drum or a ladder? Let's go with the drum purely because it's a weird one and I wanna see what happens. Yes, of course he was gonna use it as a trampoline. Okay, there is a big light searching for him. He can even go in a bush or use a firework. I think let's use a firework. I'm so curious. All of these items make no sense. Oh, that was a good distraction, actually. I see. Ooh, do we get to decorate his prison room? We do, but I can't really afford anything. I bet bro is gonna love that. Yeah, it's a cuckoo clock. That's amazing. But that would also drive me insane because it's literally above his bed. Can you imagine getting woken up to that every single day? That would be a prison in itself. I can't believe it. He's actually got out of prison. I didn't think we were gonna see that today, but this is awkward because he's on a farm and there's a wanted poster with his face on it. And there's a farmer literally right there who might spot him. So are we gonna use the green paint or the watermelon? I think we should use the watermelon. I don't know why. What is he doing with it? Oh yes, the most perfect disguise ever. Apart from the fact that it didn't cover up his prison jumpsuit. So he still looked like an escaped criminal. Oh no, there's an angry red bull. Should we use the circular thing or the red thing. I do know that bulls are attracted to red cloth. So if you wave that in front of their face, they're gonna get mad and probably hurt you. So let's use whatever that circle thing is. What is that? Oh, it's a bull ring. That makes sense. I was so interested to what that was. Yikes, that's a lot of bees. Let's use some flowers. Is that a bad idea? No, it's not. I thought the bees were gonna attack him, but they didn't and he survived. What the heck? Man's found himself in a bar. Oh no, another criminal. He wants money, but we don't have any. We just escaped prison. I like how there's an option to use a weapon if you watch an advert. Well, that's definitely not happening. So instead, I think we should use the snooker balls. Is that the right thing to do? Oh no, what's happening? Ha <laughs> ha, we tripped him up. Take that. Honestly, I am just so good with these ideas. Oh, what is this? A locked door. What are we gonna do about it? Use an ax or a weight? I think we should use a weight and smash it maybe. Nope, it's just gonna get real buff and then smash it. I don't understand why he had to use it first though. He could have just smashed the door and left. He really is a true bro. Where is he now? Oh, he's hungry. Should he risk eating some wild mushrooms or make a tool like a caveman? I really want him to eat the mushrooms, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Could probably poison him. Yeah, let's do it. I just want to know what happens. Was that the right thing to do? No, that was a fail. So we now know that eating the mushrooms is a bad idea because it will poison you. And I do not recommend eating random things out in the wilderness. So let's try and make a caveman tool. How is he gonna do this? Oh, it just appeared out of his pocket and then, you know, he hit a tree and got an apple because that's a totally normal thing to do. But yeah, now he continues his walk and he's met a cliff edge. Should he use a pogo stick to jump over the edge or a giant plank of wood? I vote the pogo stick because that seems like the best option. Let's do it. Yeah, this is kind of crazy, but also I'm here for it. It actually worked, what? That is a big snake. Shall he charm it or use a tie? I think that snake would look so dapper wearing a tie. He looks so business, so let's use the tie. Yes, put that on. Oh, he loves it. He's a business snake, I knew it. He's not really, the snake thought that the tie was another snake, so. He got happy thinking he got a girlfriend, but it wasn't a girlfriend, it was a piece of material. Just don't tell him that. Oh my gosh, this guy. He is now on the train tracks. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna keep this guy safe when he keeps getting himself into terrible situations, like standing on train crossings. You should never do that. That's incredibly dangerous. So do we use the pogo stick again or the egg? We've already used the pogo stick, so it's gotta be the egg this time. 
Oh, it's not an egg. It made a portal and the train went through it. What the heck? I am so confused. I was not expecting that. He is getting way too hot out here in the desert. Let's use an umbrella. Take shade under it. Oh no, it's blowing him away. That was the wrong option. At least we now know that it's not an egg. So let's use that. And we also know not to use the umbrella because that was the wrong option. So yeah, let's choose the cacti. I don't understand what that's gonna do for him, but let's see, shall we? He takes shade under it and he's still sat on the train tracks. Dude, get off of there. Oh no, another poster. Wanted, he's gonna get caught if he's not careful. But that's why I'm here with my great ideas. We have the option of cash or a rope. We're gonna use the rope. Yes. What is he gonna do with it though? Okay, he's climbing. And he's just continuing. Yeah, he literally just was like, I'm gonna climb up there and leave. That was so silly. Now he is on top of a moving train as if it couldn't get any more dangerous. Screwdriver or whatever the heck that is. I think we should use whatever that is. It looks like a fishing pole or something. Uh oh, he fell off the train. I think I killed him. <laughs> Right, well, now we know we have to use the screwdriver. I'm so sorry about that, my guy. Oh, he's going inside of the train. Oh, there's no passengers, but there is a ticket, man. Your ticket? You don't have a ticket, what are you gonna do? Use a gas grenade or the red cloth from earlier that we didn't use on the ball. I feel like the red cloth could work. Just throw it on his head or something, yep. Oh, he's doing a magic trick. And he made him disappear. Since when was this guy a magician? What the heck? Maybe that's why he went to prison. Another robber? What is going on today? Do we use a bottle or a sword? I think we use a bottle. Yeah, cheers, mate. They both escaped. Two criminals just having a good time. He's running, he's running away from the police. Oh no, he's gonna get caught. Oh, this is real bad. Stop or chili. Let's use the chili. I don't know why. He's eating it and now he's got fire breath. Of course he has. He suddenly turned into a dragon. That must have been one spicy chili. Run, run, run. Oh no, now there's a police car chasing him. Okay, what the heck is that? I don't know. It's like a yellow vial of something. Let's use it. Okay, he's picked it up. He's put it on the ground and it made the police car crash. I wasn't expecting that. Thank goodness he managed to get away from the police. Hmm. What is he thinking? He could collect the water in a bucket or use a tool. I don't know what he's planning on doing here. Let's use a tool. Is this the right thing to do or is this gonna make it worse? Oh, he's fixing it. Uh-oh, that wasn't very good. Kind of backfired, literally. Let's use the bucket then because we now know the tool was not a good idea. Why did he just repair that? He's suddenly become a good citizen. Oh my gosh, that's a giant mole. It looks so friendly. Okay, we could use an eraser or a hammer. I don't wanna hurt the poor thing. Maybe if we use an eraser, is he gonna like scrub it out? What? No, he got rid of it. That's so sad. It was such a happy mole and now it is no more. Ooh. Big fence. I don't know what that thing is on the left, but let's use it. What is that? Oh, okay. It opened up the gate and he climbed through. But where the heck is he going? This guy is so confusing. What does he want? I thought he wanted to escape prison. He has, but now where is he going? He's still going somewhere. We don't know where, but he's going. Oh my gosh, it's windy. Okay, let's use a ball and chain. Maybe that will weigh him down and he can make his way through the wind. Yes, <laughs> that was the right option for some reason. Oh no, now it's raining. Honestly, the weather in this world is crazy. Every two seconds is changing. Let's put on this weird helmet thing. Yeah, that's gonna help. Imagine he gets electrocuted though, that would be bad. All right, well, it worked. Oh no, look, now there is thunder. So shall we use a pot or shall we use a phone? I think we should use the phone. I don't know why. Like, what is he gonna do? He's calling someone and he got electrocuted. Oh no, I literally predicted that happening. To be fair though, I thought he was gonna get electrocuted with a pot because that's made out of metal, but it actually happened with the phone, which I don't think happens in real life. So I think you're okay if you use your phone outside when it's thunder and lightning. Okay, 
Let's use the pot. What is he gonna do with it though? Don't put it on your head. No, that seems like a terrible idea. Oh yeah, that's pretty stupid of you. Now you look crazy and you're being arrested. Well, not arrested, but being taken into hospital because you look insane. Now he's inside of the hospital and there's a crazy person. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Give him some medication or a hat. Give him a hat, he'd like that. Yeah, he did. I thought he would because I would like that hat as well. What is that? Doesn't look good, does it? It looks pretty radioactive. So you're gonna use some boots to get over it or the wheelchair. I feel like if you drove the wheelchair over that, I'd probably melt it. So let's put on some special boots. Oh no, that was not good. Okay, we're back here and I know that we need to use the wheelchair. So he's gonna jump in it and try and roll over it. Hopefully he doesn't fall out. Here we go. Yeah, he made it across. Okay, everything's good. What the heck? This doctor guy wants to give him an injection. So we could use a magnet or a flower. Let's use a flower. Oh, he liked it. Is he gonna let us go? No, it was the wrong answer. Honestly, I thought it was the right one then. I feel like I've been baited. Now I know not to give a healthcare professional any flowers. So instead I'm gonna use a magnet. There we go. Oh, he was so sad, he ran away. <laughs> yes, he actually made it out. Oh, I'm so happy. That was not good, but he's going straight into a bank. No, this is a terrible idea. This is gonna get him put back in prison, honestly. Keys or beaver? Well, I'm obviously gonna go with beaver because look how freaking adorable it is. It's eating the door down. Amazing, love that. Okay, now he needs to break into the vault. I don't recommend doing this and I do not condone criminal activity. But if I was going to break into a bank, I'd probably use a giant bomb and blow the door off. Although I wouldn't stand so close to it. Yes, he got in. Okay, now what? There's money and it's flying everywhere into his pockets. That was weird, but that's probably what he wanted. And now the police are here again. He's gonna end up going back to prison if he gets caught. The red cloth has made an appearance again. Should we just like cover up the window? Yeah, let's just put the giant sheet over the window like a curtain. Hopefully he's got away with it. No, he hasn't. They were just waiting for him. Now I know. We should use the tool thing. Is he gonna make a tunnel now? Cause I was expecting a tunnel from the very beginning of this game. Let's see. What is he gonna do with this? Yes, I think he is making a tunnel. Bro is escaping. What the heck? He's in the sewers now. What is he gonna do? Use a rope or a bucket? Maybe a bucket? Is he gonna get in it like it's a boat? No. He just tips the water out. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Let's use the rope then. Ah, he's gonna climb across, that makes sense. I see, I see. Oh no, a rat, oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Why does it look like that? Use some cheese or a trombone looking thing again. I don't know what instrument that is. If you know, let me know in the comment section down below because apparently I don't. So maybe like a cornet or something, I don't know. That rat is so scary. Let's use the instrument on it. Maybe it likes music, let's see. Oh! Okay, he shoved it on its head. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was gonna play a nice tune for it, not abuse it. Oh, a ladder, but he can't reach, he's too small. What's he gonna do? Use a stick with a hook on it or use a small table to climb on? Let's use the stick with a hook. Yes, he pulled the ladder down and now he can climb up. Okay, finally out of the sewers, but where is he now? What is this place? An elevator, hmm. How curious. Paint or green triangle? I'm guessing that means go up. I really wanna go up, but I feel like the paint bucket is so random that it's probably the right option, so I'm gonna press it. What does it mean? Oh, he's disguised himself as the wall, of course. Duh, and now the police can't spot him because he's camouflaged as the wall. And now he can go and get in the elevator. Honestly, this game has me confused. But he's actually using the elevator now and it's stuck. You know, that's one of my worst fears, being trapped in an elevator. Because you don't know how long you're gonna be stuck in there. But this guy's got brains, you see. He can use a phone or he can use a screwdriver. Let's use the screwdriver. Can he hack it? No, that was a terrible idea. I never recommend trying to fix something like that. All right, let's use the phone. Maybe he can call for help or something. Or complain that the elevator's broken. 
Yeah. He got the mechanic and then they fixed it. All you have to do is remain calm. Now he's on the rooftop and there's a helicopter. What is going on in this game? Is he seriously about to get in that thing? He's gonna put on a helmet. He doesn't know how to fly this though. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Oh no, it wasn't. He broke it. Okay, I do not recommend trying to fly a helicopter if you don't know what you're doing. So let's press the star. What is that? What the heck? I'm so confused, what's happening? What was that? Was that like the knowledge of how to fly a helicopter coming down from above? Well, I don't know, but it helped him escape. And I helped him become a helicopter pilot. Anyway guys, that's where I'm gonna leave this video today. This app game was insane. And it had a lot of twists and turns that I wasn't expecting. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like on it. It really helps me out. Also, if you wanna see another one from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.